Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this uh, the next I'm going to introduce the uh, map generator, which is uh, one of the most important functions of this software, uh, the map editor. Uh, I will show you uh, by a demonstration. Uh, first, uh, let's create a new mode. Uh, we are going to create a map. Uh, we are going to create a map uh, based on the uh, Stellaris theme. Yes, Stellaris. And here we have already prepared some of the uh, maps. Oh, sorry for that. Let me drag it here. Okay, we have already prepared a background map, which is in the theme of Stellaris. And we also uh, have a line map, which consists of black, black color lines and white background or transparent background, uh, indicating the provinces. All the uh, areas that you don't want to build into a provinces, uh, uh, don't want to build into a province should be uh, painted into black and all the provinces should be painted into white or transparent, or actually anything that's not a dark color. And uh, for the details about how to uh, make such a line map and what's the requirements, uh, uh, that sort of thing I will introduce in another uh, independent video. And uh, first in this demonstration, uh, we already have this we assume we already have this uh, line map prepared, okay? And we have already created a new mode, and we can also create a new map, uh, which we can also name it Stellaris. Okay, it's a success. Uh, now we can see that we cannot open background because background does not exist. Uh, we cannot open line map, we cannot open color map. Uh, so we start by setting the background. Okay, uh, desktop. Uh, here is our background. It says success, and then we can set the line map. Desktop. Line map, yes. Okay, now we can open the background. Is already loaded in the uh, software. The line map. Uh, it, it is worth noticing that the uh, line map, when, when you're trying to uh, set the line map, it converts the imported line map into a black and white. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say black and white, into RGB coloring. Uh, so all the transparent will, uh, transparent color will become white. Uh, okay, now we have uh, set our line map and our background. We can generate color map from line map. Uh, first, we can open the mapping folder. Uh, this is the map we have just created. In the editor data, we can see uh, the uh, loaded background. Uh, so let's now generate the color map from the line map. Uh, okay, welcome back. Uh, the generation process is done. Uh, in the same map folder, now we can see a color map. Uh, we can see uh, different provinces are painted in different colors. Uh, some may seem alike, but they are actually different. Uh, a problem is, uh, you, you may see some black borders remain between the provinces. Uh, this can be changed by setting the color map smoothing. Uh, currently, it says to zero, so there is no smoothing at all. And if the border is wider than uh, one pixel, uh, it will be remained. And if you increase that and generate the color map, uh, the, uh, the black border will vanish. Uh, but the problem is uh, this is quadratic uh, slower. It's like uh, when you're setting it to like st three or 
if you set setting it to three or four, it may be like a hundred times slower than. Uh, so that's the color map generation. After you have the color map, uh, we can generate provinces from the color map, and that will uh, automatically call the map editor 2.0 to generate the province data. Uh, first, uh, let me demonstrate the uh, split maps button. Okay. Uh, it's gonna take a while. Okay. Uh, after using the split map, we find the uh, color map and the background map and the uh, line map are all split into L and R, which uh, will be later used uh, if you want to uh, deploy the map into a mode. Uh, okay, now uh, let's generate the provinces from color map. Uh, this will take some time. Um, okay, it's done. Uh, uh, when we see the map folder, we can see all the provinces generated. Uh, for this map, it has 300 and uh, 3000 and 255 provinces because it starts from zero. Uh, okay, and that's the uh, data we generated. Uh, finally, our last step deploy the map to current version. Uh, first, it will copy all the background and uh, all the data files to the uh, destination folder, the version that we are currently chosen. And after uh, completing the first stage, uh, it will pop up a window showing that please load the map in game first and then press OK. Uh, and it opens the uh, mode folder for us. Uh, so we open the game. Editor, map editor, we can see the new map that we generated uh, named Stellaris. It shows that uh, only two provinces, but it's okay. Uh, we just open the map, uh, we successfully open the map, and now we can exit the game. Yes, and now we press OK. Uh, it will start the second stage. Uh, I try to skip the uh, intermediate part, but uh, uh, we found it necessary for uh, consistency. Okay, now the map is successfully installed in the current version, uh, but there are still some uh, post-processing that we need to do. Uh, you see now the uh, map is starting to generate the province data. Uh, a total of 3,255 provinces, now working 300 of them. Uh, okay, now uh, the map is already loaded, uh, but it's uh, our work is not finished. If you have installed the map before, uh, you would know that if we uh, come into the map editor and edit connections and provinces, and we click update province data, uh, we will see that the uh, first and the second provinces, uh, ID 0 and 1, uh, they are still the old provinces. So we should update these two data uh, by clicking on the 0 and 1, the data will be updated. And we close the game. And after reopen it, uh, the map installation process is done. Uh, now we can see it's uh, pretty fast. Now game. Uh, let's start a new game. Uh, no. Let's start a random game just to show that the map is finished. Uh, no player. Random placement, random fail. Okay, now 
we can see the whole map. Yes, uh, that's the map we just created. Uh, 3,000 provinces. Uh, okay, and that, that's pretty much the map making process. Uh, but it is worth noticing that uh, we only generated the provinces, not the link between provinces. So we still need to uh, manually link all the provinces in the map editor. Uh, the connections, yes. Yes, that's pretty much the map editor. Thank you.